to us to share our cultures, traditions, and customs with our neighbors so that we may educate them about what is important to us and our community. Um, Is it better now? Yes. So what I was saying is that Power Millennials and the Carry Debate Foundation began hosting this event to encourage Power Millennials and the Carry Debate Foundation began hosting this event to encourage all of us to come together to share our traditions, cultures, and customs as Brooklynites. We wanted everyone to connect today to mingle and interact with everyone. Again, as Brooklynites, first and foremost, regardless of what holiday you may be here to celebrate, you are here with your community. So look around and remember that these, that to look after your neighbors. That's one important thing that you must always remember is that these people live beside you, so you must take care of them. Power Millennials' mission is to provide children with the resources they need to better maintain the future they desire. The Carrick and Bay Foundation's mission is to provide leadership and innovative programs to help communities become increasingly safer, sustainable, and prosperous. A crucial part of both of our missions as nonprofits is promoting education, which is why we agree that part of this event will be dedicated towards honoring individuals who have made tremendous strides in their academic careers. We would like to donate three laptops to three, excuse me, two laptops to two stellar individuals who have made a tremendous amount of effort to always succeed in their academic careers and to strive for perfection. These two individuals, the first one, his name is Amado Diallo, and the second individual is Ibrahim Ana. So if they can both make their way to the stage, our millennials would like to donate these two laptops to help them with their education so they can use it as they graduate high school and advance to whatever steps they may want to take next in life. I just want to congratulate these two young men on being scholars and doing the right thing, which is focusing on their schoolwork so they can become successful individuals that will be productive members of their community and uplift their communities. Thank you all again for coming out. And I encourage you to do the same, to be a productive and uplifting member of your community so we can be successful as one. There is nothing, there is no way that we can better our community if we only think about ourselves as individuals. We must think about the community first and foremost because the community is supposed to take care of our So, again, just to tie everything back together, take care of your neighbors. Look out for one another. If there's no place in this world for selfishness at this point. We're moving into 2024. We have to be united. Everyone must remain united as one, or as we don't know where life will take us. But I can promise you, remaining united and standing strong is the best option for all.